Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our Utopia Expedition playthrough. This is the new expedition that just came out for No Man's Sky. In the last episode, let me get back into my menu here. We completed all of phase one. We got all of it done. So now we're working on phase two. We need to reach outpost beta. So we're going to be heading over there in this one. And like in the last episode, I told you, go through and make sure to farm your resources. So as you're flying along in your ship, go slow and shoot the ground because you will claim the resources from whatever you destroy. See how I'm getting ferrite dust and all that kind of stuff? You're going to need this later on. Another thing you want to do before you leave the first uh, planet, maybe you want to go through and collect a lot of copper. You're going to need a ton of chromatic metal. And you can only get that from copper. Well, you can't only get it there, but it's easiest to get it from the copper that you find around. So definitely do that. But we're going to head over to Outpost Beta, which is going to be on a different planet. So let's head on over there. Now, the cool thing about this expedition is that they're kind of walking you through step by step of the different uh, biomes, the different planets you can kind of run into and what you can do. Like the second planet is going to be a uh, volcano planet so you're gonna be able to go there and experience that there's different objectives like if you go into your uh expedition tab you can kind of see what we're gonna do collect instructions from utopia build a second base of course acquire an exosuit upgrade you don't really have to do that but i'll show you that when we get there harvest humming sacks which are underground adopt a companion get a pet and summit a volcano which is really really awesome i love that but yeah, so this whole expedition is really about kind of exploring what No Man's Sky can do, what you can do in No Man's Sky, which is really awesome. I like that. So we have some uh, fuel. We're going to have to refuel that. So get our Starship launch fuel. The other thing you want to do probably is once you get deeper into the game, you're going to want to get uranium because you can use uranium as launch fuel in No Man's Sky, which is really, really cool. I love using uranium. It's way more fuel efficient. So it's better than getting like uh, the launch fuel, uh, Starship fuel pods. They're easy to make, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to keep on hand. So I always use the uh, uranium. And while we're out here, actually, I mean, we also need some tritium for later on in the, uh, in the expedition. So while we're going from, you know, planet to planet, might as well just stop off a little bit, shoot some asteroids out in space because you'll be able to pick up some tritium. And usually you can see like a uh, an asteroid belt around. Of course, I stopped in the wrong spot. So of course there's no asteroid belt around here. That's okay, we'll run into one. As we're going through, let me see. You'll see it just pop up. Uh, we might be too close to the planet. Oh, we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. We're too close to the planet right now. Do we have a lot of chromatic metal? We do not. We're going to need to find some chromatic metal. So the other thing we need to do is we need to find a good spot where there is a lot of copper. So we're going to come in here. There should be, I believe, a planetary archive. There it is right there. So we're going to land at this. This is where we're going to get our instructions from. And you can tell from all the communication stations that are around it. Obviously, this is where everyone's going. They like to put, everyone likes to drop a communication station to kind of say hello because they know everyone has to come here anyway. So before we go in and get our instructions, let's check the market and see what we got going on in here. Do we have anything? Oh, we have some copper in here. We're going to need more than that though. Oh, we don't have any money. We're going to need to sell something. What can we sell? What can we sell? We can't really sell anything. We don't have a lot of anything. Yep, we don't have a lot of anything. So we're going to buy as much as we can get all right so we got most of it we only we have two left over one left over we we had enough for everything except for one that's okay and then we'll pop that into our refiner so we can refine it into chromatic metal let's get our instructions welcome to utopia outpost beta settler Please identify yourself using this terminal to complete planetary registration. Let's log in. Verifying settler credentials. Login successful. Utopia thanks you for your prompt registration. Please consult the supply drop to receive details of your next restoration assignment. So we completed that, but in order to actually get our instructions, let's see. 
We have to get our uh, supply drop out of the um, the milestone that we just completed. So we have to accept the reward. Got a whole bunch of blueprints. We're good to go on all that stuff. And we also should have gotten a package, a care package. Oh, there it is, a supply drop beta. So we're going to open that up by pressing X on Xbox or Square on PlayStation. And that'll give us some food. We don't really need that. Some uh, cool fireworks that we can plant or and a uh, settlement accordance beta. So let's do that. We have to activate that chart. That way we can see where our next uh, base has to be put down. So it might not look exactly the way mine looks because they're kind of randomly putting them all over the place. Basically, they want all of us to start putting bases all over the planet to kind of jumpstart the economy in this system. So now that we have some cool stuff, what I would say is, if you want to, and I would always recommend this, sell your perpetual ice cream. Now, you can eat it and get some nutrients from it, but you can also sell it and make 43000 So, of course, you want to sell it because then you can buy some more stuff. Like, we can buy some more copper while we're here. That's why you want to do that. And so, and slowly, if you want to wait, you can sit here and get a lot of copper. It's not very efficient, but you can wait here. The longer you wait, like, let's pop back in here again. Now we have four more. Look at that. It'll slowly regain the resources back. Now it'll never go like beyond 47. So the maximum this shop will have is 47 because it's a bad economy because the economy sucks. Everyone left. But you can always just pop in. Go down here. We got a seven again. And slowly gain a whole bunch of copper. Again, not the best way to do it. We're not going to refine it. Okay, let's refine. I guess not. Now we can refine it. Not the best way to do it. You definitely want to look for a deposit. Like right over there. You want to go to that. The copper deposit right over there. It's way easier, way faster to just get it like that. So on our way to our next, uh, you know, base location, we're going to stop off because we need a lot of copper, guys. You're going to need a lot of copper. So I would always recommend getting a ton of it. So let's switch over here. So I will see you guys in a second after we get this copper all mined up. All right. I think I got enough uh, chromatic metal and copper for a while. So we're going to pop in here. We're going to go over to our base location. So this is definitely, like I said earlier, it's going to be randomized. We can shoot the ground on the way. That way we can collect a lot of resources. But yeah, this is going to be randomized. So your location is probably going to look different than mine. And it's mostly just to do with, hey, look, we want to we want to colonize. We want to make sure that there's a booming economy in this you know system. So we need bases all over the place. How far are we? Oh, my God, an hour. OK, never mind. I thought we were just going to fly a little bit, but nope. So if you want to go faster, go up to, to space, go in the outer atmosphere. And then all you got to do is pulse drive. If you lock on to the location you want to go to and boom, it'll lock on. If, if you're close to it and you pulse drive, like your cursor is over it, it will just, you know, lock on to whatever you're looking at. So we also need to look for a volcano around here because we need to summit a volcano, meaning we have to get to the top of a volcano, which is really, really cool. I like that they added that in. Oh, there's that base right there. So, you know, they're going to want us to land over here somewhere close by to this location. Let's get as close as we can to the marker. All right. And then once we land, we're going to have to get out and we're going to have to look around and see where our base is going to be. Oh, 200 feet this way. We got some good volcanoes around here. I like it. And just kind of follow where it, where it leads you. There we go, over here. Also... Along the way, let's grab some uh, materials. Right over here. Oh, I'm guessing over here, it's always going to mark you next to a building nearby. So, yep, it's going to be this. There we go. So, we need to make a base here. Oh, let's get our materials going. So we've located the second construction zone. Let's grab that reward. 
We got a, a advanced habit habitat habitation module. There we go. I can't read. Sorry. So we need to, we need to make our base. So let's put it down. We need a base computer, and then we need to check and see if there's any claims on this uh, area. There shouldn't be. No prior settlement attempts on this planet. Okay, perfect. There we go. So now we have the location here. Oh, there's some. There's a couple of volcanoes nearby. We'll be able to jump in there. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And you don't just have to put a base computer down. You need to build a building. So I like to do. I like doing my, um, you know, my four parts. And put my walls up. And they'll auto connect. That way, you don't have to worry about angling them correctly. Oh, my body's in the way, so I need to step away from there. All right, then we need to put an archway for our door. And again, I use that just because it is the least amount of resources needed. But you can put it. You can make your uh, base however you'd like. And come on, auto. Come on, click in there. There we go. Just sometimes you gotta angle it the correct way. There it goes. All right. So now we have our uh, base right here. We also need to uh, upload it. I like to name mine. That way you guys can know these are my bases. So Jason base two. There we go. And then upload it. <coughs> Excuse me. So whenever you upload it, that means anybody else can, as long as you're connected to the uh, No Man's Sky servers, you'll see my base. Now, there is a limitation. Like you're not gonna see a thousand bases. I think that the No Man's Sky servers will show you 20 at a time, and it will randomly pick 20 different bases to show you. And so as the uh, the expedition progresses, you're going to run into a whole bunch of different bases. So now we need to make our awesome, uh, what's it called? Well, we need to grab our reward first. That way we learn how to make an exosuit station. We're going to need magnetized ferrite for that. So in order to get magnetized ferrite, you're going to have to refine pure ferrite to make magnetized ferrite. Oh, I still have my uh, chromatic metal in there. So now, there we go. We're going to make some magnetized ferrite. Let's put some fuel back in here just to make sure. We also, you can use this glass if you want to. I don't need it, so I'm going to trash it. But you can use it if you want to. You don't have to trash it, but it's not required for any other steps in this expedition. So you don't absolutely need it. So we're going to trash that, trash that. This is also, you can sell this to make a whole bunch of money or unlock some uh, building, you know, base building parts if you want to. I'm going to put that in my ship. Oh, maybe I'm too far away, so maybe not. So let's grab our, um, our materials out of here. So we are good now. So now we need to make our exosuit station. Put that down. Now, the thing is, you don't need to buy anything from here. You can if you want to, but there's no requirement to buy it. You do need to go into the menu. The Utopia Overseers hope you profit from this generous selection of blueprints. Your journey of improvements awaits. So you need to go into this menu, and you can kind of look around, but if you can't afford it or you just don't want anything, that's totally fine. Back out, and you still get the milestone, so you don't need to buy anything. It says, hey, you, you uh, bought an item. You don't need to. That's fine. So now we're good on that. We got our Supreme Movement Upgrade. So we, now we've gotten all that stuff. We have a Movement Module. Let's put that in there. We also got a Scanner Module. This will increase the amount of money we get every time we scan an animal. So, of course, you want to use that. What else did we get? What other materials did we get? We got a whole bunch of stuff in here. So let's do that. So we're good on everything in here. We don't need the Utopia Build Station. Again... You can put it down. Like, I would rather put it down than to just uh, destroy it. So we're going to put it down here in our first base. Now, remember, you guys, if you decide you want to recycle this base, it will not give you back your materials. So there's no point in destroying this or recycling your base computer. You're not going to get any of your stuff back. You're not going to get the chromatic metal back. So I would recommend just leaving your base. You don't want to destroy it. It's just a waste. Oh, yeah. We need to get a pet. So, in order to get a pet, you have to feed them. So, let's make a creature pallet. You're going to need 60 carbon to make that. And then, in order to make a, any animal into a pet, you just have to feed them. 
And once you feed them, they get really excited. They're like, oh, nice. And you can adopt as a companion. You can also collect whatever food they have. Some animals have eggs. Some animals have milk. Whatever you want. I'm going to just adopt them. Yeah, look at him. Oh, look at him jump around. I love it. So there is my new pet. And that is a milestone. Let's see it pop up. Really? Let's go to our expedition. Okay, it didn't pop up, but there you go. It should pop up. Every once in a while, they won't. So we got it, though. We did it, so we're good. So there we go. We got our companion. And we also got some exosuit upgrades, so we got more room in our inventory. We also got a shield upgrade. You want that. That way you can protect yourself. There we go. Awesome. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find the uh, eggs, the humming sacks. So you're going to find them underground. You see how it's right there, right there, underground? So this is in a cave. And if you can't find the cave opening, you can dig a hole. Obviously, there's a cave opening over here, right? But if you can't, like if you don't know where the opening is, don't dig straight down into it because you'll destroy the, the humming, the egg. What you want to do is dig next to it and you'll find, hopefully, it'll get open into a cave somewhere. Oh, uh, maybe not. All right, we're going to dig closer over here. You'll find an opening, hopefully, somewhere. There it is. There's the opening. But yeah, if you dig straight into the eggs, you will destroy them. You don't want to do that. And you open it up and then take the pearl on the inside. There you go. And we need to get five of these. So let's grab five. Oh, we're kind of in a weird uh, cave right here. So weird angles going on. Oh, can't grab that one. That's okay. We got plenty of other ones we can grab. And there we go. We got five of the pearls out of the humming sacks. So let's grab that reward while we're here. Hazmat gauntlet plans. Yes. Now we need to make that hazmat gauntlet because we're going to need that later on. Oh, we need to recharge our life support as well. Let's dig our way out of here. That way we don't die. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. We also got another shield module. So let's install that. That way we're upgraded on our, our shield. We got a optical drill. You want to use this because it doubles the amount of resources your mining beam picks up. So you want to do that. Look at that. We got our... Now we have... 50% more resources. Double the amount of resources. We are doing awesome. So our next one we have to do is Caldera. We have to summit a volcano. So while we're going over here, again, let's see if we can pick up some materials on the way. Grab all of this stuff. Look at that. Boom. We're getting all, it's going so much faster now. Look at all that. Our mining beam. As you upgrade your mining beam, it goes way faster. And we're collecting double the resources. Again, you can also scan this and get your uh, secondary item, whatever that happens to be. Oxygen in this case. There we go. Pure ferrite. I love it. We need a lot of pure ferrite. So, of course, you want to grab as much as you can. Dun, dun, dun. The other thing we can look for is, as we're going to this volcano, is there any copper around here. Oh, metal fingers! You want to look for metal fingers. Oh, we need sodium, so let's grab that. You want to get your metal fingers. If you ever see metal fingers, these are very useful because you can get uranium out of them, and that you can use for fuel. So anytime you see the three stars on your visor, stop and go over here and get it. I got lucky. It's right next to mine. They're randomly spread out throughout the planet, so... You might run into it. You might have to walk a while before you find any. There we go. And I mean, you can pick up the gold as well, but the more important one is the uranium. You want the uranium because, man, it's going to be good for fuel later on. There we go. We just got 600 uranium. Yeah, 751. That's plenty. Also, you have runaway mold. This is very good for making nanites, so... If you go into your refiner, we're going to pull it in. It's going to give me 800 nanites, but look at that time. It's going to take eight minutes to refine that. So I would always recommend just pop it in there. And as you're running around, it'll just refine it for, you know, as you're walking. So you don't have to stop and wait for it or anything like that. 
Again, another reason why that backpack refiner is so amazing. It's so good. Oh, we have a Sentinel coming. Don't worry about me, Sentinel. So in order to get your uh, volcano milestone done, you need to go to the tip top, but not only just the tip top, you have to get really close to the lava. You gotta start getting, you have to take extreme heat damage before it works. So let's see. There you go. So all you have to do is take a little bit of damage and it makes it to where you win, you get the milestone. So let's get that going. Go to expedition, accept our reward. Beautiful. Supreme hazard protection upgrade. Repair kits. We're going to need that later on if anything breaks. So we got our hot protection as well. Our heating protection. Very cool. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here now. We also have 250 uh, copper or chromatic metal. Very cool. So that is all of phase two done, you guys. Look at that. Done and done. Very, very cool. Very quick. Very easy. Got that one done. So hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button. And in the next episode... Oh, my God. We exploding. Exploding. Okay. In the next episode, we will do phase three, which is going to take us to a different planet. The purple planet, which I love, except it's full of sentinels. So it's going to be a little bit rougher. So I would highly recommend get your copper. Make sure you have enough chromatic metal before you even get there. Store, Stock up on all of your materials. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.